After a three year hiatus, the 2022 Australian Surf Championships were back and better than ever. Over 500 surfers descended on Port Macquarie, bitter pie country, in the heart of the New South Wales Mid North Coast. With renowned surf spots ranging from Town Beach to North Haven, the region provided pumping conditions over the course of the 17 day competition. Now in its 58th running, the event crowns Australian champions across shortboard, longboard, logger, parasurfing and bodyboard divisions. The shortboard division opened the event and we caught up with local legend Wayne Hudson from the Port Mac Surf School. My name is Wayne Hudson, I run the local surf school, Port Macquarie Surf School in town and I'm competing in the over 35s and over 40s of the Australian titles. The history of surfing in Port Macquarie, we're lucky, we've got a wide variety of waves and we've had so many great surfers come through back in the 80s. Marks for Band, Matty Banting guys recently, so it's, it's been going for 40 years, 50 years. With waves that we've got in the surf culture we have, obviously there's reasons why. The government bodies that help out events like this, like our local council and obviously Destination New South Wales that provide some of the funding and infrastructure are amazing. Without them, we don't have the opportunity to, to watch the nation's best surfers out there in what I'd consider some really amazing waves. Port Macquarie is a great spot for surfers and people who enjoy adventure because we've got so much variety. You can surf any conditions, northeast, southeast, whatever, you can go to the right beach, it's going to give you the right waves you want to surf. Yeah, I, I'm biased because I live here, but geez, it's a good place to stay and live. On the opening weekend, it was Reef Hazelwood and Freya Prum who took the Open's divisions, securing their names amongst a long list of legends. Shortly after the age divisions of the shortboards wrapped up, the event welcomed longboard and logger competitions from around the country to beautiful Port Macquarie. It was Melanie Staunton and Declan Whiten who took out the open longboard titles, while Kira Molnar and Ben Considine were the champions of the traditional logger titles. The country's top adaptive surfing athletes, who have also had great success internationally this year, made their way to Port Macquarie, where the new Australian champions were crowned across six divisions. Port Macquarie continued to deliver solid swell, serving up four foot sets that pushed the para-athletes to new heights and highlighted their abilities in the ocean. Sam Bloom, 51, had a convincing win over Victoria Pendergast, in the two round finals. Port Macquarie is the self-proclaimed home for bodyboarding in Australia. The mid-north coast town has one of the country's oldest and most prestigious clubs and has produced two world champions in the sport who have won four world titles between them. We were lucky enough to get some insights from one of the local legends, Charlie Hull. Hey, I'm Charlie. Um, I'm a local here from Port Macquarie. I've lived here for the last 25 years of my life in Towns Beach. There's a pretty strong history here in Port Macquarie. Like, uh, it was the bodyboard capital of Australia. I think it's still continuing to be. We've had two of the first Australian world champions, Damien King, Michael Epperson, and a lot of Australian champions. I think why it's probably so unique and special is we've got one wave like break wall behind me. A pretty unique and specific way for bodyboarding. So I find that's kind of definitely kind of build the sport here and also the history. I think what my competitive history kind of stems off, a lot to do with the generation that was surrounding me. So we're all pushing each other, always kind of thriving to be the best and just trying our hardest. We used to have the nationals here like about 10 years ago. So to bring it back, it's awesome. Yeah, I think it's pretty important and um, it'll definitely grow the sport. In the open women's division, it was East versus West, and the stakes were high. But it was Ebony Shell who took the glory, winning the two heat final with speed and style. In the open men's, there were excellent scores handed out all round as the athletes went wave for wave. 
A near-perfect nine for Metcalf almost had him over the line before Crookshank swooped in to back up an already strong set of scores with an eight to solidify his Open Men's Australian title.